Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, I am Nuirani Shahiram binti Mat Lazim, and today in this video, I would like to present and also to share my ex experience during my internship at Perbadanan Museum Negeri Kelantan. Before I present about my internship. Uh, this is my table of content for the entire of my slide. Okay, first of all, I would like to tell about the history of the organization. Museum Sticks of Kelantan was established in the former building of Kota Baharu Municipal Council in 1988 and it was finally opened on 6 August 1919 by Kelantan Sultan Ismail Petra. This museum showcases the history, culture, custom, and art of Kelantan. The museum regularly holds various of events, and right now they have 3D arts event. This museum has no type of museum. The biggest one is Kelantan Museum, and it followed by Museum of Royal Traditional and Custom, known as Jaha Palace, Kelantan Islamic Museum, Istana Batu Royal Museum, War Museum, Art Museum, Wow Museum, Handicraft Village Museum, and the last one is Kuala Cry Museum. During my internship in Museum State of Kelantan, I have been placed in Jaha Palace, which is uh, in Museum of Royal Traditional and Customs. Museum of Royal Traditional and custom is a place that built by Sultan Muhammad II in 1887 for his grandson, which is Long Kundur. This, this place is now converted into a museum in order to share the uniqueness, history, and the beauty of the architectures to the world. This place has a luxury wood carvings that showcase the excellent craftsmanship of the Clantonists. Apart from that, Jaha Palace also represents the artifact and traditional handcraft reflect on the Clanton rich and sophisticated heritage. Okay, next slide is organization chart. As you can see from this slide, it shows for us that this is the strategic organization chart for each of the staff in this museum. The top of this chart is a director of Museum Kelantan, which is Mr. Ahmad Sorgawi, and it followed by the assistant of director, which is Ahmad Ali Husaini, and also followed by the assistant administrative officer, which is Mr. Tamizi, and he also as my supervisor during my internship at that museum. Each of museum has their own museum assistant to monitor all staff and also to monitor the condition of the museum. The next slide is customer. As we know, usually museum famous among visitors that look in some knowledge about the history of Kelantan, especially about the royal of Kelantan. Most visitors consist of children, adult and also elderly. Visitors come to this museum, especially come to the Jaha Palace because they want to get a new experience and also want to get a new knowledge regarding to the royal culture of Kelantan, such as the customs of royal wedding. Next is service of product. Museum States of Kelantan provide a service such as provide an effective way of learning to every each of visitors. For example, Jaha Palace provide informal learning environment which means they devoted primarily to informal education, especially about the history, custom and ceremony of Kelantan's royal family. Okay, the next slide is about the employment detail. There are some of my activities or my job during in, during my internship at Jaha Palace. For the first day, I have been placed at the reservation to handle all the reservation activities. After that, I also handle the ticket counter to visitors before they enter to the palace. 
I also welcoming and guide tourists to this palace by telling them about the history of this palace and I also telling a little bit about the royal history of Kelantan. I also learned how to wash brass correctly in order to maintain the quality of the brass item and I also participate in event at Museum Wow and event it called as Program Kanak-Kanak Tarika Unggul. The next slide is about the SWOT analysis. Uh, for the first one is S is referred to the strengths. When I do my internship at Museum States of Kelantan, especially in Jaha Palace. It helped me to increase my confidence level when I need to deal with tourists, especially foreigner tourists. After that, it also helped me to increase my English level when I had an opportunity to talk to the foreigner tourists when I share a little bit about the historical of Jaha Palace and also a little bit about the historical of uh, Kelantan's royal family. After that, Jaha Palace also located in a strategic location which is in the center of Kota Baharu City and this make this palace, palace uh, very famous among the tourists when they come to Kota Baharu. The second one is W, is referred to the weaknesses. I saw this palace unless promoted by museum itself in their official website in order to attract more tourists to come to visit Jaha Palace. And the second weaknesses is exhibit such as antique are less interesting because all these items are not well maintained by the staff museum itself. Uh, the next SWOT analysis is O, which refers to the opportunities. This internship has given me the opportunities to gain a new knowledge and new experience about what I had studied in the classes before in order for me to apply in the world of work later. Uh, the last SWOT analysis is T, and it is referred to the threat. Uh, it means that not many visitors come to visit Jaha Palace, especially because of this pandemic COVID-19. Other than that, there are lack of attention from millennia tourists because these palace are not popular among the teenagers. Uh, the next one is Jaha Palace has a great competition with other museums in Kelantan, like I mentioned just now. In Museum State of Kelantan, there are nine types of museums like Kelantan Islamic Museum, Istana Batu Royal Museum, War Museum, and others. The next slide is recommendation. And for my recommendation, I recommend that museums need to improve in terms of promotion, especially in online website, so that it can attract more tourists to visit Jaha Palace. Other than that, uh, make museum as a place for tourists to get knowledge by provide to a guide for each of these museums so that tourists can cl clearly understand about the history and all the exhibit items that have in every museum. Next is museum need to provide an effective way of learning, especially in Jaha Palace, by making interesting activity for visitors so that visitors can enjoy uh, when they visit this museum. Okay, the next slide is conclusion. From my conclusion, today's traveler are looking for cultural experience that are personal and feel tolerant to their own interests and one of them is in museum. And this also my references regarding to this slide. Okay, for the next slide is appendix. For the appendix, I put some pictures of my activities and my job that I, that I have done during my internship. As you can see from the slide, the first picture is I have been participate in program Kanak-Kanak Terika Unggul at Wal Museum in Tumpat, Kelantan. And the second picture is it shows that I am my 
friends learn how to wash the brush correctly in order to maintain the quality of the brush i also welcome in and guide tourists from korean uh, and not korean also but there are some tourists from american australia and this is tourists uh, that i guide is before the pandemic covid 19 the next picture is I have been participate in welcoming uh, Datuk Sofiada and Datin Noraida to Jaha Palace. I also participate in welcoming guests from the Astro Avani together with the director of Museum Kelantan. And the biggest one is I welcoming uh, to the Princess of Tengku Mahkota Kelantan together with his wife in Jaha Palace. I think that's all from me. Thank you.